Hello, how are you guys doing? What's up, Good. Ryan? Ryan? How are you? Good. I gotta say, I've only watched the first couple episodes so far. I kind of like to watch it when everyone else does, just so I can, you know, get a feel for what people are talking about as it's happening. But okay. for you, you know, this show kind of is all about falling for the wrong people, ignoring red flags that, you know, should seem very obvious. But for each of you, I guess, what are the big red flags you kind of keep an eye out for when, you, when you're starting a new relationship or meeting new people? It's a great question. Uh, that is good. There's so many. Uh, um, I think a lack of communication. I think, um, what else? Selfishness. Selfishness. That's a great one. Maybe uh, uh, lack of awareness. That's my biggest turn on. Mm. If you have no lack of perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Spencer? <laughs> I don't know. A light one would be the way they treat waiters. Mm. That's, oh, that's a really good one. That is a very yeah. good one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe their relationship with their parents. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's a huge one. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to say your, your female co-stars were saying, you know, not meeting your friends or not meeting the parents is also kind of a big deal, which we, I think, see a bit of in this show yeah. as well. <laughs> I never think about one, you know? I never think about, oh, I haven't met her parents yet or I haven't met her, her friends yet. You do wonder, though. I think I think uh, birds of a feather flock together, and that's not calling women birds. It's like everybody, like, you know, right. your friends yeah. are somewhat a representation of you to some extent so i think that could be a good one too and now i've only seen the first two episodes so i'm not sure whether this does apply to you or not but it does look like there are quite a few sex scenes in the show that the first episode starts out with the whole montage of, of the two leads just mm -hmm. for you is that something you had to you know be a part of as well did you have hesitations and what was it like maybe working with an nmc coordinator if you did oh uh <laughs> I, I guess Spencer probably more than. Uh, yeah, it's it's um, it's good, you know. Like I, it's not like in a weird way. It's just yeah. like you know, like, <laughs> but, but it's it's fine. It's um, it, it doesn't feel. It feels like a dance, like you're learning mm -hmm. a dance or something. It doesn't feel the way it looks. So it's it's very professional, and it's and it's um a lot of smoke and mirrors and camera angles and stuff that, that make it look that, that, you know, yeah, it's, it's fine. It doesn't feel TV good. magic. <laughs> yeah. 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 The intensity coordinators have been great. Uh, a yeah. great addition. They, they help, they're a good buffer and help, uh, help make sure everyone feels heard and seen and, and taken care of. But it looks, it looks uh, very, real. My grandma, it does. I can't wait to watch. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and for all of you i just wanted to ask about working with emma and megan as as showrunners eps on this just as you know this is emma's first show under hulu just what was it like working with her and collaborating with both her and megan i don't think i met emma but i <laughs> did i did work we did work a lot with megan um yeah she, Megan was the main contact creatively, I would say. Um, yeah. And uh, she was g great to work with. I've, I've actually never really had a showrunner that, that had that much give and take. And if I said, mm. like, if I, I could recommend things if they weren't too ridiculous. Um, and then she, uh, a lot of the times would meet us or meet us halfway. And um, yeah, a great, a, a, a great boss to have during this. Yeah. Yeah, Megan was great. Megan was was uh, super helpful, super inviting, super uh, uh, just a great presence to be around, and and really helped all of us, I think, form and figure this out because it's you know been in her head and the writer's head for so long. Yeah, you know they put it out on paper, but then you know you have to do it in real life, and they uh, she was really good at um, speaking with us and talking to us about anything we wanted and 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 working it out. She was great. Yeah. Ben, do you want to add anything before we wrap? <laughs> uh, yeah, what they said. You know, I'm really out. cool. You know, she's like, we're like good friends, you know. So <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you all for your time. I look forward to watching the rest of the season. It looks like it's going to be a wild show. So good luck. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> thank you. All right, Brian. Thanks, man. Yeah,